A group of former unemployed school friends from Freedom Park in Soweto were desperately looking for income opportunities and decided to turn the growing waste problem in their neighbourhood into an income generating initiative. It was so difficult when we started because we had to start from the grassroots. We had to go to the households and we didn't have any pamphlets or posters or placards where to engage face to face with the people. The group says they had to deal with the scepticism of neighbours who didn't understand the value of waste management. When we launched on the 15th of June, there were more youth than older people because they were interested, how do you make money out of nothing? So it was a matter of people understanding and realising that you can make money and save the environment at the same time. In October, the group of friends faced a big setback after a storage container for recycled cardboard boxes was burned down, presumably by competitors. It really hurt because, you know, as a youth, if you're trying to be in business and then again tackling social ills that we face as a community and people are still giving us that negative uh, treatment, it was so hard to believe. The group was chosen as finalists in an international environmental competition hosted by the UK-based NGO Waste Aid, who provided entrepreneurial training to a handful of informal waste management companies. Business ideas were pitched to a panel of prospective investors and the group walked away with a cash injection. We see income generation opportunities. We want to extend our site because we're receiving large quantities of recyclables. And South Africans need to know that the landfill sites are rapidly filling up. There is no time to waste. We need to reuse, uh, recover as much as possible and recycle.